No, afternoon ya leo nimeokoka. Yesu ni Bwana, ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Na ninatumaini kuidumisha imani yangu na wokovu wangu katika katika Yesu Kristo. Ah uh, wakati niliambua mimi ndo nitahubiri the main service. First of all nitatemeka kidogo lakini nikamkumbuka the word of God says the spirit you have is not spirit of fear. Bwana asifiwe. Na nikajitia ujasiri nikauliza Mungu, Mungu nitaambia watu wako nini? Ah uh, kenye likuja kwa akili yangu a journey with God. Bwana asifiwe. Tell your neighbor a journey with God. Na nimekuja na ujumbe ambao nimeita a journey with God. Yaani safari na Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Na wakati nijaribu kufafanua imaneno a journey with God nikaangalia nikajaribu kuilinganisha na maisha ya Kristo. Tunajiita wa Kristo but uh, hatujakubali kuendanisha safari na Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yet we are called Christian, we are born again but uh, we have not yet agreed to have a walk or a journey with God. Praise be to God. Na ningetaka mtu anisomee Matthew chapter number 4. Matthew chapter number 4. Verse number 1. And also verse number 2. Matthew chapter number 4 verse number 1. Through two. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Praise be to God. Nikauliza Bungu. Meniambia nisome Matthew chapter number 4 verse number 1 up to 2 and yet you are telling about a journey with you. Ni akina nani hao huanga wanaenda safari na wewe Jehova. And these are the people who walk among to have a journey with God. Lazima ukue katika hii category. One number one lazima Mungu anakuwa nakupenda. For you to have a journey with God, it's indication that God loves you. Praise be to God. And that's why the word of God says for God so loved the world he gave his only son. So kama Mungu anakupenda lazima ukubali kuingia katika safari yake na wewe. Mungu asifiwe. Na nikajaribu kutafuta sababu why why do we, we have to take a journey with God as Christian? Mbona tu tukue na safari ama tukue na 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 a journey with God. Why do we have to walk with God? Praise be to God. And there are some several reasons why we as Christians have to take a journey with God. There are several principles. If you want to carry power, real power, lazima ukubali kuingia katika safari na Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And some, number the first reasons are many, but the reason number one, ile sababu kuu sana Mungu atakuweka katika safari yake na wewe for training and preparation praise be to god kila mtu ako na na purpose yake katika hii maisha everybody has his own, has got his or her own destiny na lazima ili wafikieno kwa hiyo destiny yako lazima mungu akuweke kwa safari yenye itakuequip ili uweze kuwafikieno matakwa ya mungu katika maisha yako yafikianwe bwana asifiwe Exodus number 2 verse number 2 Tunaona Moses in the, uh, uh, that, that chapter number 2 is a interesting story how Moses was born and how he was raised in the house house of uh, Pharaoh praise be to God Wakati Moses alizaliwa alizaliwa kati kama watoto wale wengine lakini kukawa kuko na ile mhangaiko kila mtoto wa kijana lazima angeuliwa because ili ilibuka kwamba Israelis wanazana sana wanakuwa threat to Egyptian so farao akatoa order kila kijana akizaliwa nafaa uliwe praise be to god and wakati Moses alizaliwa alijipata amechukuliwa na mtoto wa farao ama adota wa farao akakuwa raised katika nyumba ya farao bwana asifiwe 
Na reason why liko najiuliza kwa nini Mungu bona hunge toa kijana mwingine na huko akuje aokoe wana Israeli? Mbona Moses azaliwe aweko kwa maji apeleke kwa farao? Kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa anataka ku train Moses. Alikuwa anataka first of all am expose am subject to the ways of the farao. Lazima angemweka katika nyumba ya farao. Ajue how they operate, how do they do things, how they negotiate. And after farao wakati alisoma yale yote, wakati alipata hekima na elimu ya kifarao, Mungu akaona ni wakati mzuri amuondoe, akampeleke Midian ili pia yajidhiishe kwake. Praise be to God. So wa Kristo. Yes. Umeitwa ukuwa businessman, umeitwa ukuwa preacher, umeitwa ukuwa a prophet. Are you willing to be subjected to the training and the preparation of God? Praise be to God. Kwa sababu hii ni kitu watu wengi wanga wana hepa sana. Preparation si kitu rahisi. Utapata kuna mauchungu, utapata kuna kufinyafinywa, kuna vitu mtu anataka Mungu anataka uondoe kwa maisha yako. Therefore he has to prepare you, he has to train you for the destiny that you are carrying. Praise be to God. For example, every company waki hire watu, regardless of your qualification, regardless even you may pita diplomas or degree, lazima waku subject to training so that they can harness or ili watoe total competence in you. Praise be to God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So wa Kristo wacheni tukubali tukubali kukuwa kukuwa subjected to the training and preparation of God because hakuna venye Mungu atakubali kukuamini kitu tuseme Mungu atakubali kuniamini ya gari kama sijaenda training ya kuendesha gari it's illegal <laughs> for you to kuendesha gari and yet hujaenda training ama hujaenda shule ujifundishwe kuendesha gari so regardless even tunatafuta baraka na maombi mingi ni vizuri unauliza Mungu God am i prepared enough have you subjected me to your training to your preparation so that i can be a, 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 so that i can accommodate your blessings praise be to god bwana yesu asifiwe wakati david alizaliwa baba yake alim regret ama he faced rejection from his, from his father and david akatupo kwa kichaka akaambua wewe ndo utakuna una unarisha una, una, una Praise be to God. But David retold did he know that God was prepare him. Alikuwa na mtrain kwa sababu ya Kenya tapana nacho in future. Kwa sababu atapana na Goriath. God knew David one day lazima utaangusha a Philistine known as Goriath. Therefore lazima Mungu age subject David kwa kupigana na na bear, kupigana na lion. Praise be to God. So yale mangumu unapitia. Your preparation and your training can tell you can be used as a parameter ya kuonyesha Kenya Mungu na kuprepare in future for. Praise be to God. If you have an easy life, life yako tu ni ya kufree ride. Jua future yako tu ni ya kufree ride. Lakini if kuna mizigo umebeba, mizigo ambayo Mungu take that as training. Have a positive aspect of Kenya unapitia sahi. Jione in future you are if you have to become a problem solver, lazima upitie mashida. True or false? If you have to carry minister of healing, Lazima first of all eh, what is kugonjeka ni nini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. If utakari a minister of compassionate, lazima kwanza upitie mashida, upate huruma ili moyo wako ukuwe na huruma za kuhurumia wengine wenye atakuwa kwa mashida. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It's very delicate, ata it's very dangerous. Upate upate Mungu amebariki mtu mwenye hana huruma hata kidogo. Kwa sababu hata kuwa na huruma kwa wenye wako chini yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. For you to become a boss, lazima ukuwe submitted to a boss. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sometimes I, I take employment as a training. Uanga na consider employment as a training. Uanga na naingia kwa employment, not to earn salary, but to train. I have to run the way things operate in business world. Yes, I have a desire to be, maybe I have a desire to be a business owner. But now I'm, I'm an employee. What do I have to do? God is, I'm in yeka hapo ili nipate full sa ya kusoma. And how to relate with others, how to relate with suppliers, how to relate with fellow employees, how to treat, to treat those who are junior. Praise be to God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Reason number two, why God has to take a journey with you. Exclusion. Ama kutenga, mungu wata kutenga. 
atakuweka kando praise be to god genesis chapter 37 verse number 25 to 28 in story ya joseph one day joseph ariota akinuliwa na ndugu zake wakiekwa chini he had a second dream 11 stars moon and sun and chan bowing to him bonus bonus was if you but hiyo ingeifikiano akiwa kwa kwa baba yake hiyo haingeifikiano akiwa kwa kwa jacob praise be to god god had to exclude jacob kutokana na familia yake yes maybe mtu kwa match ya kimwili unaweza ona dugu zake na baba zake walimchukia but it was a plan of god go mungu alikuwa anajua if joseph akikaa hapa kwa baba yake hata kuja kukuwa prime minister therefore god had to exclude joseph alimtoa kwa familia yake akampeleka kwa falao alimpeleka kwa, kwa potifa na kutoka kwa potifa akamwea kwa jela praise be to god so that ile maono yake na ile ile dream ariota 11 stars moon and sun bound to him if ya kiano so kuna mahari mungu atakuweka ili your destiny come true bwana yesu asifiwe mungu ata make sure ameondoa kila kitu ameondoa kila mtu baba yake alikuwa anapenda joseph sana if on kama angeulizwa mtu angefanya joseph wakati joseph alikuwa misli if kama kuna mtu angefanya fifa kubwa joseph ni mwenye angemtoa misli amrudishie baba yake but angekuwa anaua destiny yake Praise be to God. So sometimes we Christians tunapata we are subjected to exclusion. Tumeondolewa kwa watu. Tume Mungu ametutenga na watu. Unapata you are facing maybe let's say a lot of rejection. Unajipata katika hali ya upweke. Na katika hiyo hali ya upweke kuna mtu alisema anga katika hiyo hali ya upweke tumie nafasi kutafuta Mungu. Tumie nafasi kuambia Mungu open my eyes and open my ears ili nikuone na nikujue zaidi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So every time unaona uko excluded na watu, uko excluded na wazazi wako, watu wenu wanakuchukia for nothing. There are times when you say what have I done? Nimefanya nini? So that I can deserve this. But let me tell you my dear brothers and sisters, it's a favor of God. Nimeonga na ku prepare for a great destiny. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Reason number f- three, why God has to take a journey with you to teach patience and persistence what is patience waiting eagerly waiting eagerly yes mungu alikuonyesha utajenga nyumba kubwa mungu alikuonyesha you are a, becoming a pro, prosperous business person but uh, lazima uturie lazima ukue patient lazima ukue mnyenyekevu wa kristiano sometimes wanga tunaomba siku ya pili ya tatu unaona Mungu ajibu maombi now the next thing unaenda na hasira kwa Mungu hata unisiki unipati Mungu mbona ulijibu fulani na mimi unajijibu mbona uli, ulitendea huyu na mimi hujanitendea mimi ni mwaminifu nimekuwa nikitoa tithe nimekuwa nikitoa partnership but Mungu bado hujafungua mlango kwa nini but that's, that's not the way Mungu anafaa unafa, ukwe lazima Mungu akufunze patience Lazima Mungu akufunze persistence. In the book of Samuel, first Samuel chapter number 1, verse number 3 to 6. Tunaona maisha interesting sana ya Hana. The Bible inasema an Erikana alikuwa ia by ia akienda Shiro. Na walikuwa naenda na Ana. Na every time walikuwa naenda Ana alikuwa naenda kuridia Mungu. I don't know ni miaka ngapi, but the Bible inasema ia by ia Hana was wakiwa na Erikana bwana yake walikuwa naenda Shiro. So wanga na try kuangalia hiyo perspective that hii miaka yenye hatujui ni, ni gapi the haki kutoka kwa 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 bibi ya sijui ni bibi ya kaboni <laughs> sijui kiswahili ni gani praise be to god anahitha inahithakiwa ama anatusiwa moyo wake uko na machungu lakini Mungu bado hajamjibu alikuwa patient also alikuwa persistent every time wangeenda shiro angekumbusha Mungu here i am Nipe mtoto aniondolea aibu. Nipe kijana. Nipe kijana nitamregesha koko. Bwana asifiwe. After wrong persistence, after wrong uh, being patient for wrong, Mungu alimkumbuka ana. Bwana asifiwe. So fellow Christians, sijui nini unagojea. Sijui nini hiyo ambao unaona Mungu anafaa kubariki for now. Sijui ni level gani Mungu ana, unataka Mungu akuelevate. Be patient. Also persist. Persist 
with discipline. Bona Yesu asifiwe. Second Kings verse number 2. No, Second Kings chapter number 2. Verse number 2 through 11. Ni story very interesting ya Elisha na Elijah. Elisha alimfuata Elijah patiently. Akamwambia wakati Elisha hii chapter yangu inaongelea wakati Elisha alikuwa achukuliwe na Mungu. Akamwambia Elisha nao nimeitwa na Mungu mahali fulani ka hapa. But Elisha alikuwa anamwambia as long as God driven sitakuacha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii inatuonyesha persistence ya hali ya juu sana. For you to acquire some blessings, lazima ukuwe persistent. Lazima ufuate. Lazima hata hata kama kwa hiyo kazi kuna vita inakaaje. Pigana. You never know the position in Mungu anataka ku elevate. Regardless of marriage in Iko. Regardless regardless vita zenziko kwa marriage. Persist. Persist kabisa. Na wakati Elisha ari persist, alipokea double anointing Elisha ari Elijah alikuwa nayo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So there is a big reward of persistence and patience. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Reason number four, why God has to take you for a journey as a Christian. Kwa nini Mungu anichukua nipeleke safari na yeye? Does it mean sija kamilika? Reason number four, to build capacity, stroke gain stamina. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It's very hard for God to entrust you with greater things kama huna capacity. It very 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 impossible. Mungu kukuaminia a lot of hearts and a lot of people and a lot of destinies kama huna capacity ya ku hold ama ya 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 ku withstand pressure kutoka kutoka na kwao. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. For us to attain certain levels, Mungu ata to stretch, ata stretch our capacities. Ata kupeleka ina jani, ata kupeleka ina retreat so that you can gain stamina and capacity ili uweze ku withhold zile baraka uko nazo. Which we maybe we wendo do do wendo uta break pattern za kwenu. So before Mungu ku expose kwa hizo vita za ku za ku break down patterns, lazima ata ku expose ili ugain kwa 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 hii kwa hii principle of building capacity. Lazima ata ku expose kwa hii kwa hii principle so that you can gain stamina. Ukiambia shetani nienda na T. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hii ndio tofauti unaona anga why? The word of God nasema anga you got power and authority. And by my name utaondoa hii mrima, utaiambia iondoke na itaondoka. Why? Sasa ukiambia hii ugonjo iende na iende. Insufficient of capacity. So kama Mungu anajua yes. Calvin ndo utabeba utabeba minister of, of healing. Lazima ata ku lazima ata ku stretch. Lazima ata ku ata kuinua zaidi lazima ata ku expose ama ata ku subject kwa hii principle ya build capacity lazima ata lazima ukubali pia na ukubali Mungu build build capacity in me ili uweze kubeba kubeba his will and to do according to his will Bwana Yesu asifiwe Reason number 4 uh, sorry reason number 5 why God has to take a journey with a Christian Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Reason number five. To kill the carnal man. Through purification of the spirit. What do I mean by carnal man? We Christians, some of us, sorry to say so. Unapata kuna umwili mwingi. Sijui that they were the right word to me. mingi sana ya kimwili tumeshikilia yet Mungu anataka tuyatie ili apate nafasi ya kufanya kazi na sisi the word of god says of the flesh or of the flesh kama desires ukitamani hii mwili inarinda death hii mwili haitakwambia tu tukafunge Hii mwili haitakwambia sasa amuka saa 9 uombe. Hii mwili haitakwambia it's, it's time to study the word of God. Praise be to God. Hii mwili itakwambia ni wakati wa kupiga kupiga sherehe. Yale hii mwili inataka 
si yenye roho inataka the desires of this body si desires za Mungu therefore Mungu atakupeleka in a retreat to make sure your spirit is edified bwana yesu asifiwe kwa sababu so that you can you can you can have the capacity of carrying the power of god and i'm talking about the really power of god that ukiamua poverty inaisha leo inaisha mwili lazima uiweke kando poro aliambiwa 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 aliandika akasema day by day crucify the flesh bwana yesu asifiwe sometimes unapata wa kristo tuko na pride kiburi mingi yet holy ghost says kama ari kuna kiburi unapata anger judgment imetujaa kwa moyo yetu yet mungu anataka hiyo moyo wako ili imfanye aifanye makao yake praise be to god unapata kuna mambo tumebemanisha ndo tunataka kukuja nayo kwa kanisa ndo tunataka mungu atutumie nayo in short what do i mean kama unataka mungu akutumie if you are very sure you hear god and mungu ako na intention unaweza kukutumia kuna mambo mungu atakupeleka retreat wa china nayo praise be to god kiburi lazima utaacha nayo if nitakuwa mcheza keyboard yule mkali sana lazima nitaacha na, na mambo ya hii mwili if nitakuwa mtu the best ushers if i have to usher in spirit and in truth lazima nitakomesha hii mwili bwana yesu asifiwe praise be to god after taking those five reasons and having a journey with god kuna mambo wanga inatendekea mkristo praise be to jesus results of having a journey with god ama matokeo ya kuchukua kasafari na mungu matokeo ya kuchukua ka retreat na, na mungu matokeo ya kufunga siku samba uende katoroni ndo haya praise be to god spiritual eyes and ears opens and who has unapata capability ya kusikia heaven when inasema unapata capability ya kuelewa the will of god praise be to god when you have a retreat with god wakati mungu anakupeleka kwa kwa training wakati mungu anakusubject kwa patience wakati mungu anakusubject kwa kwa capacity na build capacity wakati mungu anakusubject kwa kukatana na 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 akano mind or akano spirit unapata macho yako yanafunguka masikio yako ya kiroho yanafunguka it's very sad to be a christian and yet huwezi elewa venye mungu anasema when i was young in christian nilikuwa nafikiri mungu anga na kuja na kisauti na mtetemeko wa ardhi na gurumo na randi anaambia kijana sasa umetenda dhambi lazima utakupiga ngumi that time I was a, a young christian bwana yesu asifiwe but after taking a retro uh, going with a journey with god imelewa kuna ile kufunguka macho ya kiroho kuna kule macho masikio yako ya kiroho inafunguka unaelewa this is what god is saying this is what the realm of the spirit is saying praise be to god unapata after ume, ume, umeenda mwendo na kristo ama umeenda mwendo na mungu kuna kuna revo fulani atakuinua revo ya hekima na ya wisdom ambayo iko above above kila kitu praise be to god results number 2 intimacy with the holy ghost due to suppression of the canality stroke fresh bwana yesu asifiwe ukiona umeanza kupenda maombi ukiona umeanza kupenda kusoma neno ukiona kenye umeanza kusikiza ni about the kingdom of god Ukiona kenye umeanza sasa kutamani kuona ni kenye Yesu anatamani kuona wakati umeenda mwendo na Mungu anga na kufanya upende zile vitu unapenda wakati umeenda mwendo na Mungu inafanyanga zile vitu wanachukia pia unazichukia dhambi inakuwa chukizo kwako majivu inakuwa chukizo kwako kuserve Mungu ndio inaweka mbele yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe praise be to God so unapata after going a journey with God unapata uko na intimacy with the holy ghost roho wa mungu anakuwa mwingi ndani yako unapata uko na usaidizi sana wa roho wa mungu even making decision na kuwa hizi kwa sababu sometimes to make a decision without the holy ghost ni utapata umepotea but when you have intimacy with the holy ghost unapata making some decision has become easy life has become easy unaelewa mambo bwana yesu asifiwe 
resorts number 3 you became a custodian of god's power and authority praise be to god the word of god in asamanga have given you power and authority whatever you shall bound in this world shall be bound also in heaven and whatever you shall ba- unbound in this world also in heaven shall be unbound now you na pata maneno yako ama what you carry maneno yako inakuwa ni power the power of god inaanza sasa kuji manifest ndani yako praise be to god mungu anakufanya now he can work with you you become a vessel of god praise be to god unapata niki ukisema no this situation must come to an end the realm of the spirit has to obey you because kuna zero qualification already ushazi meet ukisema this has to change my bingu in a t bwana yesu asifiwe so reason number 3 you become a custodian of god's power and authority reason number 4 high level of discernment due to spiritual inclination praise be to god it's painful nikiwa nimesimama pale kwa mrango kama asha mtu ako possess ta ingia na nisijue it's very painful nikiwa christian na nisielewe wakati mungu ako present praise be to god it's very 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 shameful and painful kutoelewa end of seasons na starting of new seasons praise be to god then when you take a journey with god mungu atakufanya roho yako inuke kiwango ya kwamba you can design now you can design it's time for war watu wangu wanasema mungu aliniamsha saa 9 usiku nipigane vita why because spiritual wako na kitu the, 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 the mungu amewabariki na kitu tunaitanga discernment mungu anakubara kujurisha before things happens so that you can have power so that you can you can cancel all authorize bwana yesu asifiwe praise be to god so when you take a journey with god and after meeting all the qualification and after going through training through patience through through extraction through building capacity and through spiritual identification unapata mungu na kubariki na kipawa cha discernment mungu na kujurisha nao this season has come to an end it's a beginning of a new season this season you have to do this and this and this bwana yesu asifiwe bible inasema manga the sons of isaac walikuwa na walikuwa na advantage ama mungu alikuwa amewape ujaja fulani walikuwa naelewa it's time to reap it's time to harvest and they never made loss bwana yesu asifiwe so wakati the the level of discernment imeenda juu utapata pro, always profit ndo utapata there'll be no loss kwa sababu utakuwa jua it's time to pray it's time now to to to, th- to make things into, come into reality kwa sababu napanda nga <laughs> it's hard to say this wakati tunafaa kwa tunafanya kazi most of the christian na kuanga wanaomba na kuna vitu hii dunia atauombea aje hazita come through until ujitume mwenyewe bwana yesu asifiwe hata uombe aje uo, upate bibi bibi hata toka huko akuje vijana haleluya you have to pray and uamke sasa ufungue macho praise be to god so through the through discernment utaelewa it's time to pray it's time to act praise be to god reason number reason number 5 Um, no 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 sorry results number 5 matokeo namba ya 5 genuine hunger for for god and also in the matters of the kingdom praise be to god after going through a journey with god unapata kenye sasa ime develop ndani yako it's a genuine hunger unataka kutafuta mungu unataka kusikia mungu zaidi unataka kupata revelation zaidi You want to read the word of God and have more revelations. Praise be to Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So wa Kristo. Wacheni tukubali kutembea na Mungu. Mungu akitusema sasa ni wakati wa mimi na wewe kutembea. Ni wakati wangu ku train. Wacha tukubali kwa sababu after training kuna spiritual inclination. After training 
utapata umebeba power after training utapata you have authority after training utapata umekuwa custodian of the holy ghost praise be to jesus bwana yesu asifiwe praise be to god babaki umebarikiwa wakati umesema sasa mungu utakubari kwenda safari na wewe Every time umeona Mungu amekupeleka ka training, every time umepata Mungu amekushika mkono, it's new now me and you Alex. We have to go for a journey. Lazima ukue we, lazima akue na purpose na maisha yako. Praise be to Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uwezi kuwa record breaker na utaki kutembea na Mungu. There are levels utaifikia kwa maisha kama utakubali kutembea na Mungu. Kuna revo hutaipata revelation na Mungu kama huyuko willing kutembea na yeye. Praise be to God. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. So because I believe I believe kila mtu anakuanga na desire. I want to know God more. I want to have more and more revelation with God. I want to achieve more in life. I want to be a prosperous business person. I want to be a good husband. I want to be a good wife. I want to be the best. I want to be the best praise and worship. I want to be the best usher. Therefore, kuna vitu lazima utakuwa subjected to. Lazima utakubali kutembea na Mungu. Lazima utakubali Mungu akushike mkono. Kuna vitu lazima utaziachilia. Utaachilia majivuno. Utaachilia iraha. Utaachilia kiburi. Utaachilia Praise be to God for go for God to have a walk with you. So when you have a walk with God, lazima life yako itakuwa full of results. Na huwezi danganya. Results don't lie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huwezi sema nimeokoka lakini matendo haisemi. So unaweza sema nimebarikiwa but nikiangaliwa sina baraka naweza sema mimi ni msomi lakini sina certificate so i walk with god itakupa certificate ya kuonyesha na yenyewe this person venye anasema ni ukweli praise be to god ah oh bidi yangu imefika hapo 